This home not only looks great, but it's incorporating some of the latest and greatest in sustainable building products. Located in the Gippsland region of Victoria, it also has to combat the harsh cold Victorian climate. Jesse heads to Warrigal to check it out. I'm here in Warrigal meeting up with Lee from All Chim Builders. They've used some incredible new products and I've come to get some inspiration for Greg and Suzanne. G'day Lee, great to see you again mate. I've seen your homes before and it looks like you've built another beautiful masterpiece behind us here. Well, it looks like a pretty decent size. Were there any dramas building on the slope? Yeah, it's probably one of the biggest challenges on this site was due to the fall across the site. It's been quite hard throughout the build for access to this job. So yeah, it's been a very trying time, let's say. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> And it's nice to see that you've gone to a lot of trouble to make the facade a bit more interesting as well. I noticed the contrast between the brick, the bondor. Because it is so high and we're quite elevated on the site, we just thought it would look a lot better to break it up and not make it look like one big mass. And I guess it comes pre-finished, so rather than, you know, bricks you have to clean and acid wash, or even if you were going to do cement sheet and render, yes. you don't need any of that. So no, I'm no, sure so it's it cuts all done. down on build cost. Correct. So once our tradies have installed it, um, which our chippies do all the install here, um, walk away, it's, it's finished, it's done. So especially at an elevated job such as this, you're only setting up that scaffold for one trade. Obviously we're out in the country here, Lee, so does, do you have to factor in the fire ratings you need? Yeah, so all the properties around the outskirts of the town here in Warrigal, we do definitely need to look into the bell ratings. With this one, it's only a low bell rating, it's only 12.5, um, but um, with all the materials here that we've used on this home, they can actually go up to a bell 40. Right, Lee, well I'm keen to see what you've done inside, mate. Well, let's go and have a look, mate. I love these floors. What kind of timber have you used here, Lee? Uh, they're stringy bark floors here to warm it up, I suppose, against all the grey tones. I like the design too. The only room downstairs is the garage. You've got Correct. all the bedroom living rooms on this first floor. Yes, because the house is on such a steep block and we've cut it in such a long way, the best way to use the block is to carry out the home over the garage and that's where we've got that nice alfresco. Well, I love the way it works because you've got this beautiful treetop vista from the living room, the dining, the kitchen when you're cooking meals, and then from that master bedroom, you get a beautiful view over the valley. Yeah, no, it is. It's how we sort of set it up on this steep block. So inside the home, you looked over the street, you weren't actually feeling like you're on the street. You're more like you feel like you're out in the bushland with all those trees out there. Well, you don't even see the street from here, do you? Because it sort of cuts it off. No, that's right. For the elevation of the home, you're up above it all. And yeah, it sits quite nice, I think, on the block. And so how many bedrooms do we have here? Uh, this is a four bedroom, two bath home, two living areas um, with their alfresco as well. I noticed that the colour of the joinery actually matches the shale grey bondor outside in the cladding. Yeah, that was sort of to bring it right through the home because you can see so much of it um, from different aspects of the home. We just sort of thought to bring those colours right through. And that scallop wall, the entrance as well, I haven't seen that continued on a stairwell. Yeah, no, well, yeah, my guys weren't too happy about that decision, but it was just one of those things that we thought we'd give it a crack and see how it looked just to bring it up the stairwell. I think it looks quite good. I know there've been some changes to the National Construction Code where they're wanting to go from the six star energy rating to the seven star energy rating. So does that mean you're gonna to have to change the types of products that you're using to, to meet that standard? Yeah, so it's, it's becoming more and more insulation, sealing up your home. So more about keeping, I suppose, what we call the bought air in. So if it's heating or if it's air conditioning, keeping that trapped in and keeping the outside air trapped out. And I know the Bondor is obviously a great solution for that because it does come with, it's already insulated inside the product. I know as well, it's also good for moisture as well. Yes, um, yeah, it's fantastic against condensation. And mate, this outdoor area, like you can just imagine the ceiling fan there, it's so wide. You'd have all your family and friends sitting out here, having a beer, looking beer, at the trees. Looking out of the trees, yeah, no, it's a great spot. And that was the whole design around this home was to take advantage of that view. Well, mate, I appreciate another beautiful home and can't wait to see you the next one. Thanks, mate, good to see you.